with every Gmail account, you also get Google Drive account. So Google Drive is a free online storage which Google gives you to store your valuable files. So you get 15 GB of storage free with every Gmail account you open with Google. So this Google Drive is a great opportunity for you to store your valuable videos, your photos or your PDF files. So, but here we are talking about Gmail, not the Google Drive, right? So why I am mentioning Google Drive here? Because if you want to send any file using Gmail, the maximum limit as an attachment is 25 MB. You cannot send more than 25 MB file using the Google Gmail attachment. But when you want to attach more than 25 MB file, so see what happens. So let's say I compose a new email and this is the attachment icon. So if I click on this, if I look at the properties, this file is around 68.1 MB. So this is more than uh, 25 MB and this file is also a very large file which is around 3.96 GB. So let's say I attach this 4 GB file and I say open. So Google will show me a message. Your file is larger than 25 MB, which is the limit for attachment. It will be sent as a Google Drive link. So what does it mean is that your file will be uploaded into your Google Drive uh, and then a link will be sent to the recipient of your email. And the recipient, even if they don't have a Google account, they will still be able to see the file. And even if you delete it later on from your Google Drive, the recipient will still get access to the file depending on what permissions you have given to them. So I will talk about permissions in a minute, but this is what happens. You can send up to 10 GB files using Google Drive link. So I'm not sending this file because it will take too much time. So what I will do is I will attach the other file which is 68 MB and let me show you another way of doing the same thing. Instead of attachment you can also use this Google Drive icon. If you click on Google Drive icon so then it will show you all your Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive. There are a lot of files here. I can select any of these files and I can also upload file from my computer. So let's say I click on this upload and then select files from your computer and I still uh, can come to my folder and I can attach this file. So let us do it this way. I just click on this 68 MB file and I say open. So again, you will see a message here because your file is greater than 25 MB. So it will be shared as a Google Drive link. So I can say, okay, upload. So it will take some time depending on the speed of your internet, but it's a 68 MB file. So hopefully we will get it soon. And now when the file is uploaded, you will get this link. So this is a link to your Google Drive and you can add then a recipient. So let's say I email to myself, 68 MB file is the subject. And I just type hi here and I send this to myself. So as you can see, this is the file I got. If I click on this, so as you can see that now I can uh, see this file and if I click on this link, I will be able to download this file. So let's click on this link and you will see another window. So here I can uh, watch this file. I can play this file. And then I can also, and there is a link for download. I can download this file. And I can also share this file by going to this uh, three dots and then there is a share option. And if you click that, you can actually write uh, email address of any person. And then you can set the permissions on here that that recipient can edit. So let us see, I write another email, one of my email. And then I can set permissions, can edit, can comment or can view only. So let's say that I say can view only and then you will see a message that viewers of this file can see the comments and suggestions and shared with Tahir Yaqub and then you can simply send it. So I'm not going to do that, but this is how you can share this file further and you can set the permissions. 
So just cancel it. So this is the way you send files more than 25 MB. And as I mentioned that even if your recipient do not have any Google account, they can still uh, use this file. They can download it and whatever are their permissions. And even if you remove it from your Google Drive later on, they will still be able to use that file. So this is how you can send files more than 25 MB by using a Google Drive link.